Hello everybody, my name is Richard Powell and welcome back to Hellblade Center of Sacrifice. This is part 12. Uh, at the end of the last one, we were chased by the... I think it was the Guardian of the Darkness, some sort of dog thing that was chasing us every time we went into the darkness. And we ended up jumping across this hole and uh, we dropped Dillion's head down the hole on, on, on the... Uh, on the jump, and we've said we're going to go and find it. So that is what we're going to do. It doesn't want me to go here. Oh, yes, it does. Just thinking, maybe I was supposed to be climbing up that wooden sort of scaffold structure on the other side of the hole there. That bit, see, over there. Don't know. There's a torch, so I'll have that. The beast is down there. No. She knows the beast is down there. He's always watching you. You're never safe from him. You can feel him. I have a feeling that at some point we're going to end up facing that thing. Yeah, don't get the torch wet. So we can go that way. Or we can go this way. I thought I saw an R on a door a minute ago, so uh, must be through there. Yeah. Let's have a look at that. What? Oh hi. Bloody hell. Get out the way! Oh, Jesus. Get out the way, get out the corner. Yeah, so it's been a few days, actually, since I've played this. Can you tell? That seems to be a, a guaranteed hit. If he just evade when he does that and then hit him, that didn't work that time, did it? Like that. Oh, you as well. Well, you can have one of them. No, I won't. a silly thing to do. Just jump straight into him. Oh, 
Oh, I thought I killed him already. Get out of the corner. I don't like being trapped in the corner. Get out there. Yeah, that's best. Bloody hell, there's loads of them in here. Get up, get up! Oh no, I think he got me. No, not quite. Get up, get up! She's hurt. She won't make it. Yeah, I will. Maybe not. She's injured. Not gonna make it. You won. Are we done? Well, I mean, that was a bit close. Right, so we got to go and find this. Oh, our symbol now, haven't we? Let's go up here. Nothing up here? Oh, I've got to get the torch. Yeah, my bad. My bad. Forgot about that. What about this one, then? Yeah. Can I light it? Yeah. That's got to be it, isn't it? Yeah, look, there's symbols coming up. I bet I've got to get on the other side of that. And maybe cast a shadow or something. Let's go around the other side. I bet that's what it is. Yeah, look, there it is. There. Not happy with that? There. Those sound effects are so creepy. <laughs> there we are. Well, that's quite clearly going to put our torch out then, isn't it? Hmm. See where this goes. Her father tried to help her, but she wouldn't listen. He was doing his best. Ah, I don't know where I'm going. Can't see anything. There's light. Oh, come on! I made it. I made it! Oh, that was well out of order. Come on. I so made that. Come on, let's go for it. I made it. Can I light my torch off that thing? Ah, that's what I'm supposed to be doing. I did make that though. I so made it. And now everybody is dead because of her. It's all her fault. All her fault. <laughs> weak. She should have known. Let's go this way first. Why doesn't she learn? She, well, she learns. She doesn't understand. Now the darkness has The dragon Fafner is so large and deadly that it would be impossible to kill him face to face. But each day, Fafner crawls across the heath to find water. So Sigurd digs a pit in the dragon's path and lies in wait in it. When Fafner slithers overhead, Sigurd sinks his sword into the dragon up to the hilt. Sigurd leaps from the pit and Fafner sees his killer. 
He warned Sigurd that the treasure will lead to his death, as it led to the death of all who owned it. Sigurd replies that death comes to all men, and every man will want to be wealthy until that day. And he takes the treasure. So I just stopped to listen to that bit of story there because the darkness will take her like it took her mother. If you wander away from them, uh, they, the tend to, they tend to go quiet. The beast knows exactly she's Some great. Well, that's an open area if ever I saw one. Come on then. Still trying to find Dillian's head. Where is it? Blimey, what's that? Bones. She was never here. It was all an Oh, here we go. She never learns. Although Sigurd kills the dragon, Brian wants to keep Fafnir's gold all for himself. Brian also wants the strength and wisdom of the dragon, so he drinks its blood and asks Sigurd to roast Fafnir's heart. It's got to be that over there, isn't it? Sigurd does so, but when he touches the roasted heart to see if it is done, he burns his finger. Without thinking, he licks his finger and tastes the dragon's blood. In that moment, he understands the language of birds and hears them talk nearby. I th <laughs> think I've got it. Um, yeah. Let's do that. Is it part of the shadow as well? Because it's kind of like that, isn't it? But the angle's wrong. There's no other torches I can light, is there? So I've got, I know I've got to go through there, but if I go through there, my torch goes out. I think that's the only way, though. As I can get a better angle on that from over here, I don't think so. No, nah, it's not, is it? It's not over here. All right, let's go through the waterfall. Stop! Where's the light? Did I make it? What are you doing? I did. Well, that seemed like a lot further than that. So if I go over here, yeah, that's bad news. Fair enough. And that looks locked to me. And it is. Go back, go back. Where's the thing? Oh, I can't see anything. Well, now I'm screwed. So I, I can't go through there just yet. Must be back through there then. Back through the waterfall. Right. So I must be able to do this puzzle then before I go forward. Don't know. Oh, there's a torch up there. But I can't light it. 
because I have to go through the waterfall to get it. Or is it already lit? It looks like it's already lit. So if I go up there and go left, does that help us? Can I go up here? Uh, no. That does look like there's stairs there, though. No, there's not. It's there. Screwed it. I'm still convinced that I can do this. No, I bet I've got to light that torch to make the shadow on the wall from that thing. That's what it is, isn't it? How do I get through there? I can't climb up this. Can you get to it from there? I don't even think you can. No. Let's light this up. I mean, that is definitely the right thing. And I'm convinced that I have to light that thing there to make the other shadow from that pole to go onto there. But I can't light it because every time I go through there, the torch goes out. So there must be another way round, so I can take my torch. Is that where I came from? Was that, that's where I came from? Oh, I didn't see that. Let's go here and see what's down here. Oh, this is going in the right direction at least. The fire effects on that torch are pretty cool, aren't they? Okay, so I can't get through here. Another way. Oh yeah, we'll light that up. Come on, light it. That's What's she it. Doing? She's lighting the fire. She's making light. She's making a fire. She's got light on the other side. She'll be safe. Ah, there it is, look. So we come through the waterfall, we go right, we knock the bridge down, we relight our torch. Bob's your uncle and Fanny's your aunt. And we light the other torch, get the shadow, open the door. Got it. They're not always 100% clear, the puzzles. Although they're not that difficult. They're only not difficult once you know, if you know what I mean. Right, so I leg it through here. And we go right. We knock the bridge down. There we go. Get up! What are you doing? Relight my fire. There we go. And then we go back through the waterfall. There's a lot of pissing around with the torch in there. So what's up here? Faster, faster, keep going, keep going. What is she doing? Stop! That makes the other shadow on the wall. There it is. I thought that was it. Did she light it? No, she hasn't. There you go, light it. There, now it looks complete. So I go through to the other fire there. 
faster, faster, keep going, keep going. Stop. And there we have it. God. Very dark in here, isn't it? And a guiding flame in a world so black. The longer it burned, the more she convinced herself that there was nothing beyond its reach. How little separates us from what we fear. Okay, guys, well, I haven't got much time for this one, I'm afraid. I've got to go to work. So, uh,. I'm going to leave this one here. I hope you've enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye!